Good morning. It is Thursday, August 13th, 2020, and I am here again for Bed Talk number 104. And today I want to talk about culture. And yeah, it's a pretty businessy topic, but culture really applies everywhere, both in our personal lives and our professional lives and our businesses and our teams and our organizations and anything we're doing. But here's what I want you to think about. Some of you may remember the name Peter Drucker. In his day, you know, a couple decades ago, and he's certainly still known as a thought leader on leadership and management, but a couple of decades ago, he was the man. And he had some great quotes that still hold tons of weight today. And this is the one that I want to talk to you about today. He said, very famously, culture eats strategy for lunch. Culture eats strategy for lunch. I think he also said every day. And I talked to a group this morning and I shared that line and everybody in the room was nodding their head. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Then I asked this question. I said, if you look over the last month, how much of your time is devoted to strategy and how much of your time is devoted to culture? And most of their heads went down. An acknowledgement of spending a lot more time on strategy than on culture. And I want to add a third element to the mix. And that third element is execution, the doing of business. So if you look at that and say culture eats strategy every day, what does culture mean to execution? And I would say culture eats execution every day. Because if you execute and you believe you execute pretty well, I don't believe you can ever really execute at the highest quality, the greatest consistency, and the greatest profitability, unless you have a strong culture. And so what, that's what I asked them today. I said, well, now look at your time over the last month and how much time went to culture and how much time went to strategy and how much went to execution of your day-to-day. -day. And the vast majority was the execution of day-to-day -day with a small amount for strategy and an even smaller amount for culture. So I'm not saying that Peter Drucker knows everything, but he knows a thing or three. And we all buy into this idea that culture eats strategy every day. And culture is so important, and yet we don't give it time. And if you don't give it time, then you've decided it really isn't that important. Because our time determines its importance. That's a hard reality we don't want to hear. But where you put your time, your focus, and your energy tells me what's really important to you. So if culture is important to you, wherever you are, it's time to give it some time, some energy, and some focus. So keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you, and certainly stay connected, and I will see you back here on Friday.